20. I was looking at verse 11, Jeremiah chapter 20, verse 11. But the Lord is with me. I said, The Lord is with me as a mighty, terrible one. Therefore, my persecutor shall stumble, and they shall not prevail. They shall be greatly ashamed, for they shall not prosper. Their everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten. You stand upon those promises, and those promises of a yes and amen in your life, in Jesus' name. Micah chapter 7 verse 8. Micah chapter 7. Reading from verse 8. Very near the end of the Old Testament. Micah chapter 7 verse 8. Rejoice not against me, O my enemy. When I fall, I shall rise. Maybe the enemies have seen that you fell into poverty and they were rejoicing. Ah, catch it. God has caught you. Well, all that joy of the enemy will come to an end in Jesus' name. Maybe they see that you fall into sickness, into calamity, into poverty, into joblessness, into some difficulty. You are telling them tonight, stop the rejoicing, rejoice not against me, my enemy. When I fall, I shall rise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be light unto me. Your light will come tonight in Jesus' name. And then look at verse 10. Then she, that is my enemy, shall sit. And she shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy God? If they have been asking you the question, Where is your God? Where is your God? Where is your God? They will see that God in operation in your life tonight. And they will come to shame in Jesus' name. Mine eyes shall behold her. Now shall she, the enemy, be thrown down as the mire of the streets. Sephaniah chapter 3. Sephaniah. Sephaniah. Sephaniah chapter 3. And I'm reading from verse 15. Sephaniah 3. From verse 15. The Lord has taken away thy judgments. He has cast out thy enemy. The King of Israel, even the Lord, is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt see, shall not see evil anymore. What have you seen in the past? What calamity have you been held in the past? What evil has visited you in the past? Thou shalt see evil no more in your life in Jesus' name. In that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear thou not, and to Zion, let not thine hands be slack. The Lord thy God, in the midst of thee, is mighty. He will save thee. He will save thee. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. I said, for singing, you will rejoice and you will sing in Jesus' name. Now, point number three, dominion over the terrible enemy. That is the chief of them, the highest of them, the greatest of them. Dominion over the terrible enemy. First Peter chapter 5. Tonight, you have that dominion. First Peter chapter 5. I mean it from verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, 
as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith. Don't allow him, don't give him, don't give up. Resist him, steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. And if you resist the devil, he will flee away from you. I said he will flee away from you. In James chapter 4. James chapter 4 verse 7. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist who? The devil. What will he do? Again? You, you know some people that say the devil is always after them. And no matter how they fast and pray, the devil never leaves them. Maybe you are not joining faith with your fasting. Maybe you are not joining faith with your prayer. Because it says, resist him, stand fast in the faith. And then he will flee from you. Tonight, he will flee away from you. After all, he is a defeated foe. After all, he has been knocked down a deadly blow in the head. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14. Hebrews chapter 2. And we're reading from verse 14. For as much there as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that he is the devil. He will destroy him away from your life, away from your family. Calvary, the crucifixion of Christ, will accomplish that in your life and your family in Jesus' name. And deliver them who through fear of death for all their lifetime subject unto bondage. No bondage anymore in your life. First John chapter 4, verse 4. Always remember this. First John chapter 4. Reading from verse 4, ye are of God, little children, I am of God. I am of God. I'm a child of God. I have overcome them. Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. It will not touch you anymore. It will not touch your family anymore. It will not touch your children anymore. Look at chapter 5, verse John, chapter 5, verse 18. First John, chapter 5, verse 18. We know that whosoever is born of God sinneth not, but he that is begotten of God keepeth himself. And that wicked one touches him not. What does the Bible say? That wicked one touches him not. Instead of him, you are going to put me. That wicked one touches me not. Say everything now. You are protected. It will preserve your life. Telling you, if you have been crying, wipe away your tears because the day of joy has come in your life in Jesus' name. <laughs> Jeremiah chapter 15. You will love this. Jeremiah chapter 15. Reading from verse 20 and verse 21. Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 20. And I will make thee. Unto the people in face praising war. They shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee to save thee, and to deliver thee, says the Lord. I will deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked. I will deliver you out of the hand of the wicked. 
I will redeem you out of the hand of the terrible. He will deliver you from Mr. Terrible. He will not allow Mr. Terror to ever take any hold in your life in Jesus' name. In the day and in the night, the Almighty God will be watching over you and will preserve you from terror and will preserve from the terrible in Jesus' name. And now, our favorite Psalm, Psalm 91. Psalm 91. I'm reading from verse 11. He shall give his angels charge over me. He shall give his angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways. They shall bear me up in their hands, lest I dash my foot against the stone. I will tread upon the lion and the adder. I will tread upon the lion and the adder. I will tread upon the lion and the adder. The young lion and the dragon shall lie trampled under my feet. Is that you? I said, is that you? I welcome you to that victory tonight in Jesus' name. In Luke chapter 10, Luke chapter 10, I'm reading from verse 19. Luke chapter 10, verse 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And from tonight, nothing, 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 nothing shall by any means hurt you. You have the picture already? I said you have the picture already? You see some soldiers, they say they have victory and they're sitting down. You see those soldiers like that? The army of the Lord. Victory, dominion, deliverance, miracle, power, authority. And the Lord said, He has given you that one, that authority. Nothing shall by enemies hurt you again in Jesus' name. Why you stand like a militant soldier, why you stand like a triumphant soldier, you raise your voice now in confidence to the Lord, and you know all your enemies are defeated tonight, and you stand in a victory of the Lord, and nothing will turn you back anymore in your life. Whatever the number of enemies, yours is the victory tonight. Yours is the dominion tonight. And nothing will be able to stand before you. Freedom has come. Liberty has come. The freedom to live as God wants you to live. The liberty to live in the joy of the Lord. The Lord is by your side as a mighty, terrible one. You will walk, you will not faint. You will run, you will not be weary. You will make progress. Keep on moving on, keep on moving on, keep on moving on in the strength and the power of the Lord. Dominion that's yours. Victory that is yours. The overcoming life that is yours. The victorious life that is yours, the triumphant life that is yours. This is the moment of victory. Don't play with it. This is the moment of dominion. Don't play with it. Satan shall not defeat you anymore. Evil spirit shall not defeat you anymore. Temptation and sin shall not defeat you anymore. There is the spirit of the conqueror inside you. And you can live in that spirit of the conqueror from tonight. Victory. Victory over the great, terrible enemies.
victory, dominion, power, authority. No more fear. No more trembling. No more shaking. Great I see that is in you than he that is in the world. The greater one indwells you. The greater one abides in you. You fear no foe. You fear no enemy. No weapon that is from the against you shall prosper. Every tongue that shall rise up against you in judgment that shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and the righteousness is of me, says the Lord. No shame, no sorrow, no fear, no timidity. Victory. Dominion. Power, authority, keep on moving on, keep on moving on, keep on moving on, until you get into that success, that victory, that trial, and live the overcoming life. You don't need to run.